All right, solving proportions. Uh, here's an example given to you with some notes. Um, there are three steps to setting up uh, the process to solve the proportions because you have to take the information out of the word problem, set up your expression, and then solve. So we're going to walk through that step by step with this example. A certain shade of paint is made by mixing three quarts of blue paint with two quarts of white paint. To get the correct shade, how many quarts of white paint should be mixed with nine quarts of blue paint? So the first thing I need to do is set up my words, my units, uh, the two things that are being compared in the ratio. So the two quantities being compared in the ratio. I need the units. Here we're comparing blue paint to white paint. This is important to identify. Because if blue paint is the numerator, it needs to remain the numerator all the way through. If white paint is the denominator, it needs to remain the denominator all the way through. So you've got to identify those quantities. This is the, one of the biggest mistakes made on solving proportions. If you write it down, it'll, you'll be a lot less likely to make that mistake. So the ratio given here is 3 to 2. 3 quarts of blue paint to 2 quarts of white paint. So the 3 is the blue, that's why it's on top. The 2 is the white, that's why it's on bottom. So now that we've written down the ratio that's given, because they're going to give you one, um, you're going to need to write down the information that's needed. So the last part is to identify what we're solving for. So you're going to fill in the last ratio with the remaining info. One place will be a variable, because you're looking for an answer. So there's going to be an X or a Y or a P or a Q, whatever variable uh, they've decided or you've decided to use. Nine is how many uh, quarts of blue paint we are mixing. So that's why it's on top. Even though it was the last thing in the question, uh, we put it on top because it's the blue paint, and that's where the blue paint goes. So you have to make sure that you're putting it where the unit is identified. We don't know how much white paint. That's why the question says, how many quarts of white paint? We don't know, so there's an X there. Um, some might put a W for white or a P for paint. It's completely up to you. So here's our method of solving. Um, you are going to cross multiply to get the equation and divide, X med. When you hear X med, this is what you need to think. The X stands for cross, M stands for multiply, E stands for equation, D stands for divide. Notice how to get the equation is in all caps. That is the, num that is the biggest mistake when solving proportions, is not writing the equation. Um, oftentimes, the question will not be how many quarts of white paint. Sometimes the question might be which equation can be used to solve for how many quarts of white paint. So you need to be able to do that. We're going to start by cross multiplying. I cross multiplied 2 times 9 and got 18. Now I do need to do my other cross section. 3 times x is just 3x. Remember that when a number and a letter are smushed together, it means multiply. So if you have 3x, we don't know what x is. So just put it together to show that you need to multiply it when you do figure it out. So we've cross multiplied. We need to write the equation. There's an equal sign in between these. You're going to keep the equal sign in between them. 3x equals 18. So those were our cross products, 3x and 18, and they equal one another. That's the reason that these are proportional. This is a one-step equation, which we did at the beginning of the year. So you're going to need to use inverse operations to solve. What's the inverse operation of multiplication? Division. So we divide on both sides because equations have to be balanced. We're going to divide by 3 because that's the number we want to get rid of because we don't want anything by the x. That crosses out the 3's near the x. 3 divided by 3 is 1. 1 times x is x. And then on the right side we have 18 divided by 3. And 18 divided by 3 is 6. So we know now that we need 6 quarts of white paint. So the process, we'll go back to the beginning. Uh, you have got to make sure you write down your words, the two quantities that are being compared. Once you have those words written, you need to always go back to them when you go to write the ratios. 
So we needed to make sure the three went on top because that was the blue paint and the two went on bottom because that was the white paint. We wrote our last ratio, uh, nine quarts of blue paint and we didn't know how many quarts of white paint so we just put an X there. You're going to use the XMED uh, tool that's in your tool belt to solve this equation. So we're going to cross multiply to get the equation and divide. Cross multiply. Set up the equation. Inverse operation is division. So we divide it out and we got 6. So that is your step-by-step uh, -step method of solving proportions.